Mechanical ventilation should be considered in any patient with persistent hypoxemia despite the use of high-flow supplemental oxygen by face mask. Non-invasive ventilation can be appropriate in patients who you think are going to get better quickly with the right treatment, like a patient with acute cardiogenic PE or an exacerbation of COPD. But either way, all patients treated with non-invasive ventilation should be monitored closely to identify any deterioration that would make you think about intubating. So anything like worsened hypoxemia, hypercapnia, hypotension, altered mental status with inability to adequately protect the airway. And in general, it's safer to electively intubate a patient who might have impending respiratory failure rather than delaying until an emergent situation actually arrives. And the benefits of mechanical ventilation include the fact that you can deliver much higher concentrations of inspired oxygen through an ET tube which is not going to entrain any ambient air. And also by relieving the respiratory muscles from the work of breathing, the ventilator can actually reduce oxygen consumption and carbon dioxide production. Another thing is that intrapulmonary shunts can be decreased when collapsed alveoli are opened up by the positive pressure of ventilation. And finally, a last benefit is in some patients, mainly those with cardiogenic pulmonary edema, Mechanical ventilation can decrease venous blood return because it's increasing that intraalveolar pressure, and therefore it can lower the intravascular pressures that favor fluid leaking out of the pulmonary vasculature. The downside to that is that decreasing venous return can significantly decrease cardiac output and potentially result in hypotension.